Hey guys, this is John Watts. I appreciate you watching this video. I want to answer a question. What is a motion to continue? So let's use it in the context of uh, a debt collection lawsuit. So Midland Funding, Portfolio Recovery, Calvary, whoever it might be, they've sued you. And now you notice that in the court has been filed a motion to continue. Well, remember, a motion is just when we ask the court to do something. And to continue means here's a trial date and we want it moved or continued to here. Maybe it's 30 days, maybe it's 60 days. But the point is to give the parties time to work it out. That's usually why we see a motion to continue filed. So particularly if we represent you, I mean, obviously if somebody else represents you, you get with them. But if we represent you and we're talking to the debt collection, the debt buyer company and their lawyer, and they say, well, we think we can work it out, but we just need more time. Well, then normally you'll see that motion to continue. And the judges are normally, not always, but normally pretty receptive to that because they want the parties to try to work these things out. So that's what a motion to continue is. Hope that that's helpful to you. And if we can help you here in Alabama, give us a call 205-879-2447 or you can reach us at alabamaconsumer.com. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.